Hi guys, John, Common Sense Outdoors. So, <clears throat> I just showed how to make fire with my bracelet and the contents that are in it. Now I want to show you how to reload the fire aspect. You know, the purpose of the fire aspect being on the outside, you could actually use it if you're camping or something and reload it. The other stuff inside, you probably don't need to get to unless you really absolutely had to. So, I have a piece of jute roll of jute twain yeah, I can't talk today uh, this and this package of needles you can find at Walmart um, this package of needles is pretty cool it has multiple different kinds there's a big sail needle and right next to it the number four slot there is a big what do they call it sax needle and basically it has a blunt tip it's not really sharp with a with a fairly good size eye on it and I found it works really good for threading this jute so what I do is I put the needle on the jute take both ends together circle roll it around behind and through the hole then I hold right there and slide that knot down to the end as far as I can get it Pull it tight, both sides. I like to clip off the little extra. Singe the phrase right here on the beginning of it. So now we have our needle on a piece of jute with the knot. Okay, now on the ferro end rod of the bracelet, right in the back, you'll see a hole. pull that through all the way pull that knot nice and snug up there now I start twisting my needle and I go every I skip two so I go every third rung pretty simple just give it a twist or two every time pull it through it actually goes through easier after the bracelet is worn in you've been wearing it for a while okay so we get to the middle we want our scraper plate when I make these I purposely make sure the whistle mouthpiece and the teeth on the plate are facing the same direction and they're intended to be worn away from your fingertips if that makes sense so that if it was on my wrist and the teeth and the whistle were facing towards my fingertips they, they could catch my hand or the underside of my wrist when I move so it's just more comfortable to make sure they're facing up the arm so we want it to be facing just like that so we go through the top underneath back out through just like that and then right back to what we were doing it's getting dark out here I thought I could get this in real quick one 
find your way to work through the back side pull it through the back make make it into a circle once you've done that clip the buckle push on both side both ends of the buckle a little bit make sure it's pulled tight if you don't do that step it takes a little bit more jute for it to be closed than it does when it's flat so if you put it through flat and then you got it through the other end and you cut it off and then you buckled it that end will pull out so then all I do is I take the lighter Sends off any loose hairs and just make it look good. I guess they're not hairs, but <laughs> that's what I think of when I look at them. Afraid. And there you go, guys. It's ready to wear again. Every time you get ready to put it on, make sure it's like that. If you never straighten it, it will automatically keep a shape like that because of the wire inside. So then all you have to do is roll your wrist into it, get your fingers on both sides of the buckle, and snap. It's actually not as easy as normal because I flattened it out. Once you've got it shaped to your wrist, that wire inside holds that shape. You unsnap it, you roll your wrist out, it's still in that shape. Roll your wrist back in. Get to make sure I was in view there. Kind of hard to do with my arms around the tripod. Alright guys, that's how you reload the fire aspect. Like I say, jute and these needles cheap at Walmart. I think this is dollar forty seven or under two bucks for the package of needles. Don't remember on the jute, but it's not, not expensive. So you can reload that and use that a lot of times. Alright, thank thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. More videos coming soon.